Hello everybody, my name is Card Gaming, and welcome back to Regalia. In the last episode, we inherited this uh, ruined city and its castle, and we got a quest to get over to the inn and see what is up there. There might be people to recruit and help us rebuild this city. So, let's head over to the placeholder inn. Oh, this is the place, young master. It is indeed, Griffith. So we got two people in here, three people. Can I get you something? Let's raise that volume a bit for me. Uh, hello. Well met. We would like to speak with the esteemed owner of this fine establishment. Post haste. You're weird. He is kind of weird. I like you already. Mister, why does your friend speak like a weirdo? Because he's a weird knight. He's very into honor and all that. Mm. Which I guess is cool, but he's kind of stuffy as well. Gods, Griffith, you just can't reel it in, can you? I'm sorry, we don't want anything, thanks. Can we speak with the owner? Sure, what do you need? I mean, I'm kind of your monarch now, your king. Wait, wait, I think I'm not getting through. The owner, as in the guy who owns this place? Yep. And that's you? Yep. But you're like, what, 12? Yep. <laughs> All right, Griffith, you win. Well, lend me a hand here. You're the owner, then. I mean, no one else is, like, you're r rallying to uh, build up this town. So I guess a 12-year-old could be very, very um, opportunistic here. Although, how she got these this guy to work for? I guess that's her dad or something, or brother. Her very old brother and some other dude to just help her out. Are you guys slow or something? What about that menacing gentleman behind the counter? Him? That's my dad. He works here. Yeah! And? And Co owns the place, I guess. Aha! Thank you. That's what we wanted to hear. I mean, she might be the brains behind the operation, Griffith. Come on. Huh, weirdos. Greetings. Hmm. Oh, he's not a man of many words, so his daughter's probably gonna do the talking for him. Also, look at them muscles! Are you the owner of this inn? <laughs> I am Kay of House Lauren. I wanted to inform you that I... <laughs> ...will, uh, be rebuilding... Um, please stop staring at me like that. You're freaking me out. <laughs> so, uh... The weather's nice, yes? Mm. Come on, give me something to work with! Mm. <laughs> uh, pretty please? I mean, it kind of reminds me of me in social situations. Mm. Oh, for the love of... I won't answer, you know. Oh, hello! You look kind of, uh... wise to the ways of the world. You look like a traveler. A vagabond. What? Baz never speaks. But how does he take the orders? I mean, I d guess he just gotta nod and write things down, maybe? But how does he communicate it? Although maybe he does it himself, gets the drinks and all that? But do they have, like, a kitchen? Maybe not. Maybe there's just a pile of uh, ale or something here in this barrel? What do you mean he never speaks? He can't speak? Mmm, don't know. I haven't ever heard him utter a word. How does he manage to run a tavern? That girl over there, Rilke, his daughter. She is his lips for all it's worth. She seems to be doing all the talking for the both of them. I noticed he's a little... intense. Yeah, that's Baz. Staring the crap out of people one customer at a time. And you are? Shichirochi! Or just Shichi. I used to fight in the war, and that's where I met Baz. Shichi? I mean, my Japanese might be very basic, but I'm pretty sure that means boobies. Or something like that. Which war? Does it really matter? Well, we're veterans, good sirs. Spending our retirement. It's a dirty word, I think. The ass end of nowhere. Are you also an owner? Eh, uh, no. I like to think of myself as a permanent guest who doesn't pay for his drinks. 
and uh, sometimes sleeps in the basement. And some have poops in said basement in a corner there. So you're a bum. Hey, some of us quit the war with dignity. Me, I got a hole in my wallet. Also gonorrhea. Thank, th thank you for, for that info. I see. Please don't spread it out around my town. I take it that the inn doesn't get many visitors. Nope. Supposedly, once upon a time, these crossroads were an oft-traveled trade route. That castle over yonder, heart of Ascalia, the jewel of Reshitul, blah, blah, blah. Long gone now, only roaches and rubble. And my grandfather is Ghost, and your new king, and his sisters, and his friend. I'm Kay of House Lauren. Ascalia once belonged to my family. Oh yeah? Indeed. You're here to fix things a bit, boy? I am indeed. More or less, yes. <laughs> hear that, Buzz? We got a king over here. Business will flow again. <sighs> oh, he opened his eyes wide. He's surprised. <laughs> well, that's nice and all, but I'm afraid you'll be having some problems getting people to resettle. I mean, we're just gonna have a nice marketing campaign, I guess. How so? It's because of the beast! They're afraid of the beast! Ah! She's so adorable. What manner of beast? But let's go kill the beast! Lady. They say it's got three heads, and its eyes are like fire, and it shoots acid out of its rear? Truth be told, uh, no one knows. So everyone just ran off on the rumor of a beast? Hmm. But it's true. Something stalks the woods, cutting animals. People are afraid of it. They say they can feel its eyes on their necks as they travel through the forest. Now, I've heard that even elves steer clear of these parts. They're elves! Yet nobody has ever actually seen this beast. Nope. Sounds like a myth, no? Indeed. Yeah, well, myth or not. It scares people. Besides, you're the top dog around here now, laddie. If anybody should be worried about this, it's you. Hmm. Will you be slaying the beast, good sirs? We sure as heck are gonna try, Lilka. Indeed we will. If it truly exists, we shall restlessly scour the land until we manage to plant a sword in its squishy yet monstrous forehead. That's one way of putting it. What? Oh, it's so exciting! Can you drop by later and tell us how it went? Papa loves stories! Right, Papa? <sighs> oh, his eyes are back to normal now. On my honor. Well then, good luck, laddie. Happy hunting. I'll be raising a mug here, hoping for your, eh, uh, non-demise. I'll drink to that. Now wait a minute. All right, we have us a beast to kill. So, do I want to... Oh, that's to the town. I thought that was going to be, like, to the dungeons again. I could go to the armory. Let's see here what else we have. This is not available right now. Griffith, are you ready to slay the beast? On my honor. If that beast truly exists, I say we find it out before it deals any more damage. Besides, nothing lifts men's spirit as flawlessly as the sight of an evil beast slain. Assuming it exists. I mean, it's probably gonna be something horribly not terrifying. Gwendolyn, what do you think about all this? Oh, great. So now we have some vaguely threatening beasts to worry about? Yup. Holy cow, these people are so gullible. Yup. Alright, so these are our party members so far. These are a lot of options. I approve. So a total of 12 people, and I have a maximum party limit of 5 or 6 once I upgrade my castle. But for now, it's just Kane Griffith. Venture forth! Traveling around the Reshetil Expanse. So this is the uh, overworld. This is your in-game calendar. 
Each week consists of nine months, each composed of four weeks, each in turn composed of 28 days. So we got a calendar system, we knew that already, but over here is where the beast is. An unassuming glade. Look at all of these maps. I'm so excited. I just can't hide it. Let's go over here though. Days to explore three. And I guess, like, I couldn't see that. Uh, there was like one, one, one over here. You see that? One combat, I guess. And one to talk to and one quest. So I guess that's how we see where we want to go to talk to people. If there's a one there. All right, let's go in. How do I go in? Like that! Welcome to the Unassuming Clade. Enter node. Dungeoneering basics. Every dungeon contains of three kinds of nodes. A combat node, that is a battle. Any party members that can be, that are defeated, can be rendered unavailable. Until you visit a camp or leave the dungeon. Alright. An adventure node. That will engage your party in short choose your own adventure. Ooh, hello. Some of them granting rewards. And a camp node. These are small free roaming zones where you can gain bonuses. Personal bond points. That's good. Alright. Keep in mind that locked nodes cannot be accessed until you have cleared the neighboring nodes. Alright, so first off we need to uh, battle whoever is in here. Is it going to be the beast himself? We'll find out. Enter! A somewhat serene spot. So what exactly are we doing here, Griffith? We're looking for the beast, Kay. Looking for the beast. Indeed. And why are we doing this? To get people to come back to our city. To end its reign of terror and bring peace to the land. It's a PR ploy. And what are our chances of the supposed beast appearing? Well, since we are in fact chatting casually in the middle of a seemingly lifeless forest, given the laws of narrative probability, I would say... 100%! It happens now! Yup! Get ready, young master! I like that they have, like, humor about all this as well. What the hell? Oh! Hello? That our beast, Griffith? No, there's no way. Uh... You were saying... On second thought. Are we gonna fight this girl? I mean, she does look very feral. But I think we're gonna, like, uh, beat her into uh, her senses. And then maybe get to know her. Defeat the beast in Falgar Wood. That I can do. Now, can we get some info on this lady here? The beast. 900 health. She's got quite a whopping in weapon damage. Skills and effects. She can do Enrage. Damage equal to 15 of Signy. Oh, so that's her name, her real name. Spoiler alert! Whirlwind. Deals, uh, that is a... AoE. And a Pounce. That is a Charge. She's also got Bloodlust. Increases all damage done. Alright. Let's take her out. Griffith, I want you there. Kay, I want you there. Finish. Let's do this. Oh. She's empowered. And she's fleet. Activation order. Have you noticed that the weird looking lady activated before you? How about we use this opportunity to explain some advanced combat mechanics? Okay. Activations take place in a strict order defined by the combatant's initiative value. While initiative remains a fixed value, there are numerous other ways to influence that order, like her fleet buff. A new turn begins when all combatants finish their activations. So this is the Q, the activation order. It is now Griffith's turn. Or is it Kay's turn? It's Kay's turn. I mean, I guess... This is their activation order, but I can choose which one I use. But K seems to be the one that is um, available right now. So I could do a buff, I think. 20% of maximum shields to a target. Yes. Or I can do it on her and apply marked. I'm gonna do it on her. 
100%. Marker. I said... Marker. Can you not marker? What about him? That seemed to work. Maybe I'm not in uh, line of sight. It's always good to give um, our tank his shields, though. Now, I wonder, if I select her, can I see what her skill, the Whirlwind, can I see how, um, how range, what the range is on that? I think it's gonna be like a, um, around her, so I probably don't want to be next to Griffith. So let's move K back here. And then end his activation. And then you are gonna move up. So maybe that move was uh, for nothing. But I want to apply Sunder. Pinpoint strike! I missed! I had like an 80% chance, but I missed anyway. Dang it. Whirlwind! So my armor got depleted right there. Authority points are a shared resource pool which can be used to spend or spent to use blitz or execute ultimate skills. The party generates 1 AP at the start of every turn. A maximum of 5 AP can be stored and used at any time. Alrighty then. And we got two points and you can find the blitz move right here. Cool. But I can't use that just yet. So I want to move on up. And maybe use Bang. Apply Weakened. Debuffer. Can I not use it from here? Probably not. Maybe I should move more. Like here? Can I get the Bang up here? No, Griffith is in the way. Dang it. How about we place down an Inspired right here? Take this. That will buff everyone in range of it. Let us strike. Griffith is now empowered. It actually does more weapon damage. Do we want to try pinpoint strike again? Get her sundered? Or we could blind her. Decreases the chance to hit. And taunt. That could be a real good thing. Also, we could do crescent strike. We have a lot of things to do with him, but I do want to do Weakened as well, so she does less damage. Also, that is a lot of damage. Do that. No water. Done. She's weakened. And end. <laughs> Whirlwind again. Oh, he's kind of low. But I think we're gonna just move on up and finish her. Flank her! And then attack her! We should be able to just, um... Do a rend and finish her. As long as you hit. She dodged it! Dang it! But I think Griffith can finish her. If only can hit. Uh, can I just attack her? No, I have to use one of these skills. So, use Pinpoint Strike, 73%. And 80% of base damage, 73%. What about this one, 73%. So what I... Mm, I'm gonna have to risk it, aren't I? 73% chance, do it. Oh, she dodged it! She might take uh, Griffith down. Unless I run. I'm gonna try it. Go for K this time, please. Don't kill Griffith. Yes. That's good. That's good. And then K. You should be able to uh, finish her. 72%. Or... Hmm. What is the range on this? It's kind of long. So if I run over here... And do this... Bang! Down she goes! Keep up the momentum, guys! Battle completed! 25 XP!
The fabled beast appears to have slowed down. I mean, that was quite a fight. She doesn't look like a bandit, or a beast for that matter. Why would she be terrorizing the locals? I do not think we can expect civil reasoning from her, sire. I would suggest caution in your attempts to communicate. Maybe she's just lived out in the wilderness for too long? You win. Oh, hello. You speak. There are no words between predator and prey, yes? I like you already. Just look at her. In defeat, our roles are reversed. If words are shared, it shall be so by your choosing. What? She reminds me a lot of the, um, Ayla from Chrono Trigger. The beast or the prehistoric warrior woman. Are you the beast that stalks Rashtil? Rashtil? Such a name is unknown to me. You speak of names, of names that impose boundaries, but these are not mine. We share a sky, but the boundary is not mine. The mark is not mine. The territory is not mine. I understood nothing. Neither did I. Packs, tribes, kin, rights. The Kelra way, our way, my way. To overcome enemies, we become beasts in spirit. I guess that explains the outburst. Sort of. There is strength in such bonds, as in all bonds born out of respect. We take only what is given and never force our way. I still cannot make heads or tails of what you're saying. <sighs> the beast chooses the man, and the man accepts the beast. But it is a process, not an act. Something to claw and strive for. For many days and many nights, many moons that come and go. But the exact count is meaningless. One cannot return without finding the right beast. So have you found the right beast? I mean, you seem to be inhabiting... Or, um, channeling some sort of beast. So unless I'm getting utterly confounded here, you're saying you're searching for your beast. Yes. And this search brought you here. Just so. Can we help you find it? I have never heard about this tribe of yours, these Kelra. The turtle and the eagle both share a sky. But though the turtle wonders about the clouds, he will never take flight, yes? Huh? It is a color unknown to your kind. Much as yours is unknown to mine. Is she really the same girl who just tried to rip our throats out? But anyway, what does all of this mean? I am sorry, but I can't allow you to run around the woods anymore. I am a lord of sorts, of these lands, and I could really use some popular support. You aren't helping, you know. You need to leave. No! Recruit her! Then we are at odds. But as the victor, you are within rights to request so. If that is your will. What would happen if you were to abandon your right and go back home? My siblings would devour me whole. Uh, figuratively speaking? No. Young master? I know what you're about to ask me, Griffith, and I'm not sure I'll like it. Help her! Come Help we her! We all follow our oaths, and hers seems to be of great import. To her, at the very least. Well, we're in the middle of something ourselves, remember? You're asking me to put her own good above ours. No, I am asking you to be the man your father thought you would always be. Which is? The better man. Eh. Sire. Damn you, Griffith. What if we made a deal? The Predator does not barter with prey. He does not want you to be his prey. He wants you to be his partner. Your lion speaks yet confuses. Eli lion? Oh, he does look a lion. Also, he has this pauldron here. Come with us. We'll give you shelter and resources, and hopefully, it'll help you find your beast. A cage of wood and stone yields no answers. That may be so, but you won't have to stay in one. As a member of my retinue, I expect people to honor your special outdoor privileges. And, uh, small eccentricities. Emphasis on small. No doubt you would price this favor in my strength, yes? What for? You heard it yourself. We need all the hands we can get to rebuild the city. I am sure Master K would be very pleased with such a capable warrior as yourself. I would indeed. I see. Then the boon is granted, and so I will join your pack. I shall follow the duckling and the lion so that together we may fulfill our oaths. K is a duckling. Duckling? Really? 
Why do I get a duckling while you get to be a lion? I have absolutely no idea. Now, uh, the girls. I have a feeling this will take a long, long while to explain to Gwen. Probably. But can't we, uh, finish exploring this dungeon? There were two more, uh, events, wasn't there? There was. So, let's go to Greenmark. That is a camping spot. That's just what we need because we, we both took a bit of beating there. Ah, how nice. Let's talk to Signy. You are aware of your fearsome reputation in these parts, I assume? My privilege brought no harm upon your kin. A Kelra pursues a revelation of slaughter. Perhaps. I do not intend to question that. The fact remains, however, that some have already denounced you as a local menace. Some may even come after you. Let, let them come. It matters not. Theirs are but words, empty and without sting, like a buzz of a bumblebee. Let them come. You're with our- I mean, I should be, like, ju adjusting to her speech pattern in order to, uh, get her to trust me, so I should be like, You are in my pack now. Packmaster will have your back. But we'll handle it together. Just so. There is strength in unity. The duckling is wise to acknowledge that. For now, let us continue our journey, yes? Indeed. But, let's do a save, a new one, and then, can I talk to Griffith about anything? <sighs> now, let's head on out, and see what the last of the areas have to offer. In search of the beasts. Did I, um, regen all my stuffs? My health and everything? I do hope so. Uh, health, 900. That sounds just about right. Go. You're about to exit the woods when suddenly Signy gestures at you to wait. Something's not right. What's wrong, Signy? Men around. The scent is clear. We are being followed. But I don't see anyone. Before you finish your sentence, with a timing so impeccable that it would border on comedic, a hatchet flies by your head, sinking its blade in the nearest tree trunk. Men of somewhat questionable looks emerge from the greenery surrounding your small party. Their leader, a broad-shouldered brute with the charm of a burlap sack, proceeds to clap in obvious mockery. The man whistles and laughs, earning a low snarl from Signy. The famous beast of Reshitil, who would have guessed? For someone so fun-sized, you have a pretty hefty reputation. Hell, it's a wonder you ain't a dragon. This is gonna end bad, isn't it? Yup, for you, not for us. He chuckles and draws his weapon. Today, we'll be swimming in bounty money. Get the girl! Fight them. I wonder if there was, like, a option to, uh, maybe get him to stand down? But, I do want to kick their butts. They're bandits, after all. Oh, we got challenges. Defeat the bandits in less than seven turns and defeat at least two enemies in one attack. We do have some AoE abilities, so that might be doable, depending on how much health they have. 410. So I think I can do it with Signy's Whirlwind attack. Let's get... Auto. Nope. Let's move you. How do I... Reset. Let's move everyone over here. Done. I definitely want to take down the mage. So the challenges give us some sort of bonus later on. Back to battle. So this is the combat log. Uh, we can check the uh, combat speed. We can review. And settings. Cool. Alright, Signy. What do you have? You have pounds. You have whirlwind and rage. Plus empowered and fleet. Savage Roar. So if I can get on in there, how, how's the pounds range? It's pretty good. So if I get up here, I might be able to pounce this fool. 
Or this fool. No. I want to pounce... Hmm, you. Done. Everyone stay cool. This is a robbery. So they don't seem to have a lot of movement. That's good. Don't whack me. That's fine. And this guy might be in range to hit Signy. That's fine. Oh, she dodged! Good lads. Here we go. All right, Kay. I would like you to get over as far as you can. Is inspire or command in Torg in range? Yes, it is. So do that on Signy. Give her some right shields. Now. And then you are done. At your side. Then it's Griffith time. I don't think you have anything that's in range. Dynamic entry. I don't think I can get over here because of the boulder. Boisterous challenge. Taunted and blinded. Let's blind you and taunt. I don't think you have enough movement to get in range of him. So if I taunt you, that's fine. <laughs> that was quite some taunt. And we're done with him. I definitely want to get you down. A baleful bolt. Who's up? Is it Signy? I definitely want to do a uh, whirlwind, but can I take these guys down in one attack? I don't think so. I could do Savage Roar as well. What about you? 480. I definitely want to get that challenge done. So maybe I will... Massacre. Four times though. Hmm... Randomly targets. Let's see what happens. Oh, I actually had friendly damage there. Almost, but I think he uh, or dodged it or something. No, he do took some damage. Dang. All right, uh, move on up here. And end. Surround the mage. I wonder if he has enough movement. No, he didn't. Good. Not enough to get over to Sydney. So we're Signy. Oh, Miss! Oh, but he got stunned. That's rude. Now, I want to whittle them down enough for a, um, a Wii attack to finish two guys off in one go. So maybe I'll bang this guy. <clears throat> that sounded weird. But I want to use the bang on him. Right at you! Weekend! And I'll move all the way here. Now he's stunned, so he can't do much besides move. But I will move up a bit. More baleful bolting. Now, can I do a whirlwind? Oh, that's gonna hit... Mm, I shouldn't have moved up. But I should be able to take these guys down with one of these, right? If I do enough damage. It's gotta be a high roll. Try it. Oh, I missed one! Fresh kill. Dang. Hmm. Well, end. Oh, Ow! Uh-oh, uh-oh. He might go down. With this guy, he might go down. <laughs> no, he's gonna go down. Miss, miss, miss! Damn it. Down he goes. Get in here and use panic. Savage Roar. Do a bit of damage and panic them. And then end. So they're just gonna run away now. Give us some well-needed respite. And then we can whittle them down a bit more for the challenge. Yes, yes. We want to kill them before turn 7 as well. So. We have Massacre that should be enough to kill them both later on. What was there on this one? Not enough. I should pounce on one of them maybe. Pounce on this guy. 
Whittle him down. I can't. What about this guy? Move over here. And then pounce on this guy. That's perfect, I think. End. Her armor's down. Did she get stunned? No, I don't think so. Then get over here. Bang this guy. Hit, 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 hit. Good. Good, good, good. And he's weakened as well. I am gonna use Blitz again. To command her. I can't! What about this guy? Can't. What did uh, it marks? That's fine. Strike now! And then it should be time on the prowl. for some whirlwind action. Hopefully I'm gonna hit. If I miss, that's it for the challenge. Nice! From we got both of the bonus objectives. Dialac, components, and gemstones. Wait, we didn't get the uh, double? What? We only got one of them? What? That's rude. I totally got those two in one hit. The battle is won and you are free to leave the forest. Without a doubt, your sisters will want to hear about the whole ordeal. Yes, they will. Finish the dungeon. Meanwhile... <laughs> huh? Another miss. Lick clean. Oh, it's a gnome! Adram, why can't a man make a decent profit anymore? Not that I'm complaining. Maybe the castle would be more fruitful. Hello. Our grandfather told us we need to hire a gnome. They're very good at mer merchant stuff. Eh? Oh! <laughs> uh, hello! <clears throat> Hello. Uh, mighty fine weather for a stroll. Uh, am I right? Yep. Are you here for a walk too? Ah, uh, no. Not precisely. I am on a walk, yes. But it is a different kind of walk. A gilded walk of spreading joy and awe to all whom I may encounter. I am Haksun ibn al Andoraz, purveyor of goods most wondrous. Wandering merchant supreme. And uh, most certainly not one of those street peddlers who would shank you for a stray copper. <laughs> oh, then you must have come to see my brother. I'm afraid uh, your meaning eludes me. But if you'll pardon me asking, what is a nice young lady like yourself doing in a place like this? I live here. Uh, you live here? As in here, here? I mean, she is te technically the princess. I know. I'm sorry about the mess, but it's a recent thing. My brother just became the lord of that castle. See? Over there! Oh, is that so? <laughs> well, well, things just got very, very interesting. Perhaps there is good money to be made here, after all. <laughs> this is a most fortuitous development. I would be delighted to exchange goods with your brother. That is, uh, with your permission, my fair lady. But of course! I'm sure he'll be overjoyed to have you. Ah, splendid! Well then, all that remains is a handshake to cement our joyous agreement. Am I right? Shall we? <laughs> you probably shouldn't, Lane. I think it's shady business. All right. So now, we gotta head back to the city and report in as well as uh, get to know... Oh, Haksun has joined our cause. Sweet! Does he also have a... Uh, yes, he does. Unlocks common resources. Awesome. So he's sort of a merchant type character. And we have Signy over here. Can, does she have um, any cool abilities? Seems to be uh, like combat abilities. That's fine. Oh, we got a new visual 
customization option at high, high um, loyalty, I guess. That's cool. But there we go for now. Let me know if you want to see more of this, and if you made it this far, I'd really appreciate it if you hit that thumbs up button, leave a comment below, and share the videos around to get the views up, because views make the world go around. As always, thank you for watching, I will see you guys next time.